Um, yeah, no worries, TX Duck Dog. Ah, oh, going second. My favourite place with no food choices. I'll see what uh, happens with the player before me. If they go to three, I'm going to three. If they don't go to three, I'm probably not going to three. If they go to two, I'll think about going to three species. If they're just going to do this, um, I'm just going to sit here and do nothing. You know, fake out that negative three when I actually put in a six, because I had nothing better to put in. Gives these guys really safe options. You know, I might just do it anyway. I don't want to, but... Yeah, that... That's some tricky shit if he just spent forever wondering, do I turn this into a pack hunting carnivore or don't I, when um, it couldn't carnivore at all without the second one. So I'm going to trust that that's just defences, I'm going to do this, hopefully no one plays carnivore at me. I mean they probably should, but I hoped they wouldn't. Uh, may, and the other thing I hope is Nikki Bobby just goes full species. Okay, 11 is okay. That works okay given that I had to put in too much food and no one's attacking me. Should, uh, well, I am recording this, but just make sure we remember this. A time where I did something risky and it actually paid off. Uh, I don't get those very often. Okay, so I'm going to put like a horns out here and a symbiosis with a hard shell next to it. It's plus one population. Um, that's what I want to do. It's going to cost me a card I don't want to spend though. Card might end up being the foraging. Um. I am eating first. I think the chance that I need the long neck is pretty low. But, like, there's a foraging here. I think I should put it there. Even though I'm not really happy about the idea of someone potentially making a carnivore and me losing it. Something to be said for a single species in terms of being able to just rip the food out of the watering hole by just putting population in it. May not feel good long term, but if you can uh, beat people doing this short term, you'll certainly get a leg up. This is making me feel a bit safer about what I just did. Yeah, there aren't too many safe carnivores to make into this setup. Just seeing me put all these traits down with the uh, obvious symbiosis here. Uh, if this has got some uh, double cooperation going on, that's pretty good. Uh, just double long neck. It's getting my food numbers way too high. Um, little I've been able to do about it, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, cooperations, they're always fun. Hey, I got one too. I might actually put it here with the intelligence. Um, part of me also wants to see if I can make the uh, ambush carnivore work. Because uh, there's definitely room for an ambush carnivore if people let there be room for an ambush carnivore, which maybe Nicky Bobby will end up doing, maybe not. If that happens, I'll just put the cooperation on the long neck, it's fine. Whoops. Yeah, if I think I can make an, make an effective two-body-sized carnivore this turn, I will do it. Um, 
Otherwise, it's just going to be intelligence cooperation on this middle species. Yeah, nothing here is looking particularly undefended. So I think we'll end up going with this. Yeah, I don't think I want to spend like every card on making um if we were to do it, uh, I could go three body size. Can I reach it? I can't even reach five population, three body size ambush carnivore. So I think this is probably a good bet. So I can't actually use intelligence twice from two population, uh, but if there is somehow heaps of food, I can eat twice to share the food both times. Um, I think that's that's probably what I'm going to do. And if I really miss out, this one loses a population. I honestly don't expect there to be enough food for that uh, fertile to actually be worth it. Um, so we go with that. Um, I think I think that's okay. So yeah, so I don't think the fertile is going to last until next turn. On that being said, um, whatever. We'll still do it like this. Why not? That's uh, that's a good cooperation. So there was a warning call and a symbiosis that doesn't work. I really didn't watch him take the cards off in the end, did I? I would have uh, definitely made that ambush carnivore. Oh, whoops. Uh, also all undefended except for body size. Yeah, curious choice. Could have eaten uh, twice. Um, would two eats have really been worth it compared to this? Um, not sure. This this worked out pretty well though. So this guy got five, this guy got six, I got five, this guy got four, but has an extra species. So yeah, um, those have stopped. I'd really like to draw a foraging right now. That is that is not a foraging right now. Uh, I'm willing to go as low as I can right here. Um, so I'm definitely considering doing the symbiosis chain. Stop someone killing this if they make a carnivore. Got a couple cards. Um. If I do this, and uh, push this one in here, I can use intelligence twice, or eat once, use intelligence once. Uh, I'm still not doing as you know happily as the people who've actually got their cooperations onto a foraging, but I think it's okay. Okay, uh, finally activating his Symbiosis. Saving some cards, maybe? So this is uh, going to be 7 body size anyway, so even as a pack hunting carnivore, this is okay. Uh, it could be an intelligent carnivore. Uh, the game should let him attack this if he wants to lose one of the population. I uh, can attack this once, or, you know, uh, he can attack this once as well. Um, he might, you know, hit something else like this... Uh, Nope, not the defensive herding. Don't know what he really wants to hit. Um, I can, you know, give this an extra defense if I'm really worried. Because I've still got enough cards. I don't think I'm going to make an ambush carnivore into this bullshit. Um, 
Yeah, and I'm okay replacing the fertile with the foraging when it comes up. That is an intelligent ambush carnivore when literally no one except himself is actually using warning call. Hey, this guy got another one of these. Intelligence makes a lot of sense into this. But like, you kinda gotta set up for it, right? So he can hit this if he wants to lose a population. Um, kind of want him to because it'd be funny. I think hitting this makes the most sense because it's a long neck cooperation going into a long neck foraging. It's giving him lots of food. Uh, I think it's sensible to kill this. Uh, he unfortunately then can't. Oh, he can still attack this for free, so. Yeah, I think this is uh, sensible to get rid of for one card, though. It's giving him a lot of value for, like, three more rounds this game. I've already got an intelligence, so I'll discard the intelligence. No, there's still potential that maybe I use the ambush somewhere. Hey, a cooperation. That's solid. Uh, we'll put in the negative two. I'm gonna put this here, bump this by one population each. Hope they can all eat. And then still have one left over to use in the intelligence afterwards. See, so this is still going to be a pretty unattractive target. Yeah, um, that'll work. Uh, long neck once, eat once, intelligence once. They're all full. They're doing pretty well. Uh, it's still, you know, not this powerhouse. So you can also add another population here, uh, so that he gets to cooperate for those final three food. This guy should definitely, if this stays like this, uh, if he has a fat tissue, best play, replace the ambush with a fat tissue, bump it all the way up to six population, uh, add one extra body size, and then eat the shit out of this. People spend a lot of work making a good defensive herding uh, species. Uh, if you can actually extinct it all the way, like, holy shit, go for it. Uh, yep, yeah, so this setup looks fine. That's also the numbers where I can, if I want to, intelligence first and then eat, if I can be bothered counting how much food is available. And if I really have to, I get to intelligence twice uh, and just lose the one population over here to starvation. This is interesting and undefended, or at least if not, uh, if it's defended, it can't eat very effectively. This guy's doing well for getting a lot of species out that um, have some decent defense on them, so uh, if he starts ramping up the population now as well, it's a strong contender. So this round plus one more round. So he's definitely got a lot of scope to do really well. And this could be something like um a climbing to hit this with one card. Uh, but if he doesn't keep cards, I'm not sure what he's aiming at. Because everything's probably somewhat defended. I'd love to see him not keep cards, it would be hilarious. Whoops. So let's put up a climbing. Uh, there are like two climbing species on the board. And as I said, I think just you you make population, you kill this. Even without the fat tissue, I think it's st you still get to eat it three times for one card. You get a lot of food for that. You don't have to worry about increasing your body size so much. Um, I mean, it's it's a pretty solid play, right? Why wouldn't you? Uh, this uh, long neck scavenger with only one population. Bit silly. Uh, this is still free. Okay, he did manage to pull the R climbing into the climbing though. Like he didn't uh, actually use his card to extinct something that was worth extincting when he had a free eat before, so I doubt he'll do it now. I should probably still take this before someone else can though. He takes this. This guy takes these three. Uh, all intelligence. 
probably with the intelligence. Even the being able to play the negative one when I'm first would have maybe been a good save. Doesn't really affect this guy. Um, so yeah, the free eat down here, I think he'll take it. Cool, uh, this stuff's all starving. That's good news for me. I'm just not sure if I can beat Nicky Bobby right now. I think I'm doing fine versus everyone else. I think I'm ahead of Nicky Bobby, but he's got all of the species up. He's got a lot of momentum, he's going to have a lot of cards right now and an intelligent carnivore to cut me down. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, I can play out a new long neck cooperation species, expect him to eat it, and then use the cards on my intelligence. That's, that's maybe even worth it. That feels like the right numbers. Um, it's pretty dangerous if he doesn't actually give it to me, but I think it's a good thing to try. We'll see if he's on to my ruse. Like, he's got an intelligent carnivore that's already huge and already has climbing. He was definitely going to have targets. So I'm not really giving him targets. So in the end, I didn't draw something to replace this uh, fertile, so it is worth one more point being on a species. Why didn't he leave the scavenger on this species? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, there we go. So this, I think, should definitely have at least three population right now. Uh, just because he can definitely attack twice. He can just hit this twice for two cards. Um, why wouldn't you? This could be a cooperation. In that case, these also become good places for population. Leave that one, that two, put this one up to two. Uh, you still got two cards, you know you've got two eats. Okay, so uh, we'll see how well my ruse works. See if he uh, takes me up on the offer. Yeah, I really think this should have been extincted a long time ago. And I really think this was a good idea earlier than now to start cutting down. Just, yeah, leaving something there that's so clearly open to extinction. Um, I'm happy about it. If I just had those three cards in my hand right now, I wouldn't have that food. And I'd still have, you know, like about the same here. Maybe I'd be able to go one more population there. Uh, maybe I didn't quite think it through. But also this food, that food, and that one. Um, I would have taken a bit more from here. It probably wouldn't have made much difference in the end. Uh, he, he, he went for my clever ruse, so it was fine. Because uh, I, you know, made eight points from losing those three. Um, so that was that was a good deal for me. Not sure if he saw it coming. Uh, he's definitely seeing it coming now that he's not eating this one. Oh wait, he can't, unless he wants to spend a card. He's got plenty of cards, so he really should have been thinking about what can I extinct to make life harder for everyone. Uh, 
um, curious choice compared to this one for all the cards he had. You know, this one, that one. Oh, that wasn't even the last round. Still, um, it was a fun little time to uh, get extincted a little bit. Put this one in. One of the fun things I can do this time is, uh, if I know what body size he has and he doesn't bother pushing to six, uh, I can push to six. I can even make a carnivore that can attack that once. Although going to six body size without a fat tissue for that carnivore does not seem worthwhile. Especially given that I still need to save cards up to use this. I think I should expect at this point that I may not even get to eat. Uh, so I'll save the three cards to use three times on this. If he's a clever cookie, he can cut me off one of them. And the three cards won't even actually fill this, but since he likes attacking it, um, having the extra space there for a food isn't a bad idea. Yeah, he did. I really don't think this was going to be worth putting three cards into. Um, yeah, that's about all I can do. He wants to remove the climbing, that's that's fine by me, he can remove the climbing. If it's a fat tissue, he can just finally eat through this, and I think he will win the game if he does, that's really solid. So basically he can just uh, bump up all of the populations that depend on scavenging if he's going to eat this six times, and just make sure he saves one card. That's definitely something I would have been looking to do with this hand. One card, eat six times, make these go off like three times each. You know, wherever the populations end up. And fill up a fat tissue on a 6-6. Six, six. I'd probably go 6-5, you can still eat it six times. And uh, let's put one more into a population on a scavenger. And the population getting the food is slightly better than a fat tissue getting the food. Uh, I've got no idea what those are going to be. Like, that could be another warning call. If not, this is all just eat for free. So yeah, that is a fat tissue. He certainly oversaved cards. Uh, as I said, just, you know, population, 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 and you can still uh, eat this six times. And one less body size, one more population. Uh, you don't need the foraging, so that could have been a population. I think he's still going to win, but... Uh, he just really hasn't, you know, done as much as he could have. Sure, he can maybe extinct a bit more here, but I think compared to the population he could have had, the extinctions aren't going to be worth it. Okay, this guy can eat three, like, twice. Ah, uh, that is already six of these, so I am just going to do, um, two intelligences and then eat once. I uh, unfortunately can't really do the third one and still take as much away. And it won't manage to cooperate through if I do the third one. Ah, oh, but I'll get two of them down. This guy might have disconnected. Good timing. Yeah, okay, they left. Um, so, I think I will definitely use these. Then I will eat, um, which was about what I was planning to get done anyway. I didn't really need three cards, did I? Eh. This guy should, yeah, maybe use that. It would have let me get this. That's right, three was uh, if there was actually no food left for me. Um, I, th I think I'd get a bit above uh, Embolster, so maybe that's worth it, but 
I don't really see the value in it. No, I think I think Nikki's winning here. No one could really do anything about this. Um, and he's always had food for the carnivore. And a lot of cards to go with it. Yeah, he definitely could have just extincted this though. Filled up. Lots of population. Which I think would have scored him far more points. But yeah, no, he's definitely still winning. It's reasonably close, but... Yeah, there might have been a few times where it was a bit too easy for him to attack, but I think he got a really uh, good lucky put in a climbing, someone put up a climbing. And yeah, this was just a bit hard. All the long necks there were just making sure he had food and could keep getting cards to use on the intelligent carnivore.